Hi, this is Tim Haller and I'm doing uh, day 21 of the uh, 90 day video challenge. Uh, I'm pretty tired today. I'm just looking at my image and uh, see some horrible bags under my eyes. And uh, I helped a friend move yesterday and uh, didn't realise quite what I'd uh, offered to do. We spent all day lifting his furniture in and out of his house from uh, into his house from a, to a garage and I'm just absolutely shattered today. Um, so what today I wanted to talk about um, habits of behaviour and uh, patterns of behaviour and outcomes. Um, and for a long time I've put my energy into learning Kung Fu. I found a, a Kung Fu teacher when I was 19 years old and almost he became a surrogate father to a degree. And uh, uh, my pattern of behaviour was was really just to put my heart and soul into learning uh, Wing Chun and uh, and I now have a school of my own and I've, again uh, that, that sort of pattern has continued for years and years and years and it occurred to me today that part of that was the uh, uh, my, my instructor, finding my instructor and uh, acting in ways to um, uh, to be loved and appreciated, really. Uh, I think we, we all do this to a greater or lesser degree, and obviously it starts with our parents, and we want them to love us. We want their approval and their uh, respect, and um, we want them to be proud of us, and we will do a lot of things um, in order to make that happen. Um, for our parents as well, I mean, they kind of just want the best for us, but equally... You know they uh, they have their own they have their own patterns that they're running and uh, their own beliefs and uh, stepping outside of those beliefs and doing something different might take their uh, energy their attention their love and respect away and um, that can be a conflict. Um, so I was just thinking today about the amount of time and energy I've, I've spent putting into Kung Fu and building this school and uh, and even with 20 years of, of experience and training I I, uh, I really don't make very much money from Wing Chun and um, and that's okay because I love it and uh, but this is the reason why I've started an online business because if I could put the same amount of uh, energy and intent towards it um, and do the uh, the right activities I could uh, I can earn a lot more than I can from turning up and trading my time for money and this is why many people have an internet business um, and I think the, the top marketers uh, build a huge email list and sell high ticket items and they scale it up and they they focus on the activities that get them uh, to that destination and so um, ultimately it's it's not how hard you work it's how hard you work at the right activities that um, generates uh, the lifestyle of freedom that a lot of people want from an internet business so uh, again I've put in a lot of effort in, uh, into blogging uh, for my online business, um, writing a blog, at least one one blog every day for several years now. And, uh, you know, and it's very slow, it's very slow progress. Whereas if I, I've, I've recently set up a YouTube uh, campaign and run an advert and I can see straight away uh, the results are absolutely massive compared to what what I've uh, become accustomed to doing with my time and my energy, um, writing lengthy articles and attempting to rank them is, a, is so much slower. And and even if I get one or two hits a month on that article for free, um, there's no way for me to scale that. So yeah, I think this video really was is about um, to sum up um, success or financial success or. Uh, needs to be um, very well described. I think you need to be very specific about what you want to achieve as an end result and then work your way backwards doing the, the right activities. Otherwise you can get caught up in, in uh, working very hard because that's what you believe you need to do uh, rather than working smart. So um, working hard at the right activities. Working hard and working smart obviously is the answer. Um, 
for greater success in a short amount of time. All right, so that's day 21. Um, just thought I'd share my thoughts. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.